Well, this is a long time coming. You guys have asked me to show you how to fix the Vantage whenever it has issues with turning on. Uh, sometimes it will actually turn off as well randomly when you're using it. And um, actually, here's a quick shot too of my mobile kit that I that I use this tool. It's really still my right hand man. You guys that watch my videos know what I'm talking about. I use this thing all the time. Uh, but let me just show it to you first. The problems that that maybe will will show up. And right now, of course, it's turning on. Um, I'm gonna just kind of. Did you see it turn off right there? I just kind of twisted the unit a little bit. Watch it again. Just a little bit of side to side pressure and it shuts off. Man, using this out in the field, that can be very frustrating. You guys that watched me do that video in Panama, this is the tool I took with me. And I was panicked for a little bit because it was not turning on. You can see it's, it's shutting off every time I move it. Okay? All right, so first thing you want to do is power the unit off and let's take our batteries out pop the batteries out next thing we want to do is we want to take these screws off the back okay uh, the issue is I'll just tell you right away uh, the issue is the pad where it contacts the board inside for the battery that solder joint actually will crack and uh, cause this issue. So uh, I've done this years ago, hoping this is the fix for this time around. Oh, there's a, actually a card on the side with these two. You can take that out. That was the old update cards. That that was how you updated this tool. It's they no longer make these. I believe version 8.0 is the newest. Um, still, you guys see me use this tool all the time, even though my database is outdated. So let me take this part. That pad's not even attached anymore. All right, I want to lose my pieces here. That's your yes, no buttons. Take that out. You see, by the way, before I do this any further, this is why this is happening. This uh, positive side of the battery is totally broken off. So we'll have to re-solder that. And uh, the location the location where this goes, actually, I could probably do this without even taking this off. It's right here. It goes right there on that pad. So it should be a nice easy fix. This piece sits right inside of that. There's like a little slot for this to, uh, to ride in. So slide that down into there. And that is the pad right there where we're gonna solder this to. Make sure your gun's nice and hot. I'm using a rosin core solder. I don't need to use a flux. A little bit of flux wouldn't hurt. Some of you guys have given me grief about my soldering in the past. This gun is clean even though it may not look like it. Got to be careful using this type of gun. What we want to do is we want to heat up both this pad, this top part, and what's underneath. And it should do it together. Just gonna wait. There's solder coming through right now. A little bit of solder there. That's it. That is in good position. That is a fix. Put our yes no buttons in, our on offs.
put the two halves back together. Make sure these feel okay before I put the screws in. back in. Uh-oh. Mmm. Okay. Was not paying attention. Um, my screen wasn't turning on. What I did when I bolted this back together, can you see the, the, uh, this pad here, these connectors, and this one, that's for the, the main screen, so obviously I misaligned those when I put this back together, uh, just not paying attention. That is my fault. Um, I'm going to pay attention a little bit more this time, and uh, we just want to... I'm kind of eyeballing that connector as I'm going back together. That's better. That felt, felt totally different too. I was having trouble lining up these corners. Now that feels great. Here we go. Screen's back. Okay, let's, uh, let's put our screws in. Well, maybe that was good. You guys saw that. Sometimes um, showing mistakes on camera are more helpful than just making a video and just showing how easy something is. That was a pretty big mistake on my part. Just not paying attention. We now have control, and when I move it, it doesn't turn off. And the other thing you can do when you're in there, that ground terminal that where the spring is, same thing on that side. Check that solder joint too, and I, I didn't show that, um, obviously, because mine was broken on the positive side, but what I'm talking about would be the spring on the inside, it would be the same thing. I really should have shown that while I was in there, but down inside of here, the spring that's down here on this end where that attaches to the board, uh, that can be an issue as well. And I think last time I did this, it actually was the negative side. So um, look for that where it connects to the board and solder it the same way I did the positive if you guys have a problem there. But that's it how to fix the MT2400 Snap-on Vantage um, from intermittent shutdown problems and intermittently not turning on.